Who would have thought by gluing some sticks to this Dollar Tree utensil holder would turn into this amazing DIY piece? I went ahead and just laid out a bunch of stuff that you can use for this DIY. And also I wanted to say about 90% of the stuff I am using is from the Dollar Tree. Oh, and you need to go ahead and grab some sticks from your yard or your neighbors. Also, if you're out and about, go ahead and grab yourself one of these display easels from the Dollar Tree. These are the four colors of spray paint that I will be using. Now, if you don't have spray paint, don't panic. You can totally use regular paint, but because I have this paint, that's why I'm using it. It's a lot faster. Now, I just mess around with different shades, different colors, and just keep doing it until you get the shade that you're looking for. This one is more of the green tones, and then this one is more of the brown. Go ahead and take all your sticks and start gluing them around the border. Also, you can do it in the middle, wherever you want. Also, I'm using some of these little stones from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to start gluing them on one of the shelves there. I took a little screwdriver, poked a hole, and now I'm threading the fairy lights through there. Pull it through. Once you do that, just start wrapping it around the twigs and around the edges. Glue them wherever you want. Don't worry about the glue showing because you will be covering that later. Now it's time to make a bridge. You can use skewers or twigs for this. You're going to measure the length, then cut to size. Once you know the size, cut enough so you have the right width. Or you can just use, of course, the regular twigs. Now you can use a popsicle stick for the base to make it a little bit easier to glue. So I did that with the skewers and then I'm just going to go all natriel with the regular twigs. Also, we have to make a railing for safety, so that's what I'm doing here. And of course, I added more blisters to the hand. Yay. Okay, so now that's over with. Let's go ahead and glue our railing onto the bridge. So this is how I do that. Hold it in place, and that's what they look like. So here's the skewer one, and then the twig one, which I ended up using. Go ahead and glue that into place. I also took this Jenga block for an extra shelf, or a little extra depth. Now I'm using the little wood cutouts for the nature scene. Also going to be using these mushrooms. I'm going to show you what you can use instead of paint. So here are some nail polish along with rapid dry base, top, coat, and gel-like shine for a sealer. So if you're going to use nail polish, I recommend doing two coats. I really like using this nail polish because I love the shine. Now if you're going to go ahead and use regular paint, that's totally fine. You can use the rapid dry or whatever um, for a sealer and it gives it that extra shine. But that's up to you. Also, these are some of the larger fairy garden mushrooms. I'm going to show you how you can add some beauty to the blossoms. stems. So I'm taking this like fan paintbrush. Actually get some paint on the brush and that might help. And then I'm just going to dot there and you're going to see like little stems. You can do any colors that you want. You can add berries or leaves or whatever. And now I'm going to take a little bit of a taupe color to kind of put that on top. And again, this is just some extra ideas for you. Here, here's a few other ones that I did. You can also stain the mushrooms and use these rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree. Also, if you have any of these, they will be a great addition to this DIY. 
And then I just took one of those little stump thingies and put some moss and one of the Dollar Tree mushrooms on there. Some stones and voila. I know when you're doing projects like this and there's so many different pieces, it can get a little overwhelming. So I put them in different categories, just try to keep the stuff organized and know exactly what I have. Also, if you can prop up your tray, that'll help. I found by taking popsicle sticks and gluing moss and the flowers to it ahead of time is so much easier and faster in the long run. So that is what I'm doing here. Different colors and textures. You can add some stones as well. And this is what they all look like. And you can cut them down if you need to when you know exactly where you're going to put them. I love this little piece that I made. He's my favorite. The mush path. <laughs> So now comes the fun part, making your mushroom forest come alive. I'm going to speed it up a little bit so I don't spend so much time just showing you how I'm placing these sticks. I also wanted to show you, you can take uh, other things from the fairy garden and add different things to it to place into your forest if you want to. Now I'm just going to take more of the moss sticks and I'll be placing them on the walls, on the very top, on the bottom. So you can see how easy and faster it is to do that. I'm also taking this little wood heart that says love on it. It'd be real cute if you wanted to do your initials or something. So this is why I tell you to do the moss on the stick because can you imagine trying to do all of this? in these little fine spaces. I'm also adding some more rocks in different places. And don't worry if any of your sticks uh, fall off from the border or anything. You can totally just glue those back on, which I had to do that numerous of times. I had to use my scissors to try to place some of these mushrooms in the really tight spaces. I will do another video at some point to show you how I paint my mushrooms and do the faces and all that fun stuff. any more of my moss sticks and the tight little spots. I went ahead and made this cute little nest for the little squirrel right there. Just painted them brown and used some sandpaper to rough up the edges. These are the little uh, foam mushrooms on a wire that the dollar tree carries in multiple colors. I think they come in a pack of 20 or 30 or something like that. I just cut the wire a little bit, and you can paint them. They just take a couple of coats, and I added one of their little ladybug stickers on there. Adding some more of the moss on the side walls there. And then my large mushroom. And my very favorite piece of all, I love this little guy, the mush path. Love it. I also wanted to show you that you can use these little wood pieces from the Dollar Tree and put some of the mushrooms on there. You could put moss, rock, a little sign, any of that kind of stuff on there just to make it a little bit easier to place into your forest, or you can just put it in a little shadow box if you still have one of those from the 80s, like I do. <laughs> I just think they're really cute. Adding some more of my little animals. I don't know if that's a hedgehog or a porcupine. I don't know, but he's cute. And of course, we have to have a bunny. I 
adding a little bit of teeny tiny flowers to it, which I just pulled them off of a stem. Now I'm just going to place it into its forever home. And now is the last mushroom. Welcome to my mushroom forest. I am so proud on how it all came together. I put a lot of thought into this one. I love creating unique things to give as gifts or to display around my house. These would be so cute to customize for the holidays. Like for Halloween, you can buy the black one and use it and make it a spooky forest. What about a Christmas winter scene one? That would be so cute with Christmas trees, a snowman, snow, Santa. Even a wedding one would be beautiful. Feel free to share this video with your friends. So I hope my ideas can help you create one of a kind piece. If you end up making one, go ahead and send me a picture through Instagram, which I will link down below, and I'll be happy to share it in a future video. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling. Thank you.